So it's that time, another week, time for me to give you my weekly picks. To recap, last week I got it written down here. I just was looking at it because I wasn't sure. I didn't think I did this well. I went 10-3 and three last week. Not too shabby. Need more weeks like that, damn it. I'm 90 and 57 on the season now, so a little bit over two out of every three. So 10 and 3, that's good. I want more weeks just like that. So um, I don't know why I would ever pick Tampa Bay to win a game. You know, sometimes you try to outthink yourself, you try to be slick. And I should have known the Steelers would do some shit like that because they've had a bad habit in recent years of losing to teams that are bad. That's kind of the Steelers' MO. That's why it's hard to take them seriously. Uh, so. But other than that, you know, I 10 and 3, I'll take it. So let's see what I can do this week with week number 11 picks. All right. Thursday night matchup. We got Buffalo traveling, traveling to Miami to take the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins are playing some pretty good football right now, in particular on the defensive side of the ball. I think Tannehill is starting to figure some things out. Um, Buffalo, you know, it's, it's one of those things. I think they got the offensive rookie of the year right now in Sammy Watkins, but. I still don't think they're that much better off with Kyle Orton, even though some people probably argue with that. Hey, since they went to Orton, they've been three and two. And you look at last week's game against Kansas City. I mean, Orton's had some mediocre so-so performances. I'm going to take the Dolphins here. I think Tannehill's playing at a higher level than Orton is, and I think the Dolphins as a team right now are just better than the Bills. I would go to Sunday action. I'll take the Vikings over the Bears because I don't know if I'm going to pick the Bears to win another game this season because I'm not frankly sure that they're going to win another game this season. I'll take the Cleveland Browns, the first place Cleveland Browns, to beat the Houston Texans even though we probably will end up regretting this because now that the Browns are in first place in the AFC North and they have something legitimate to play for, now they'll probably piss a game down their leg, especially with uh, the Texans finally making the right decision and going away from Fitz Fitzpatrick and starting Ryan Mallett. Uh, a game that gave me a little bit of trouble to pick was Seattle and Kansas City, but ultimately I will go with the Seahawks, and I don't necessarily mean that as a disrespect to the Kansas City Chiefs. Andy Reid's coached them up really well, a Coach of the Year candidate. That team is playing pretty well. They're 6-3, and three, just like the Seattle Seahawks are. I just like the Seahawks a little bit better in that matchup. I'll take the Broncos over the Rams, even though I do think the Broncos could have a little trouble in that game if the Rams are able to generate pass rush with their front four, because that is the type of team that their pass rushers like Quinn and Donald get off and get into the backfield, the Broncos can have some trouble. We've seen that before. I'll take the Saints at home over the Bengals. I'll take the 49ers on the road to beat the Giants. I'll take the Redskins to beat the Buccaneers in a game nobody will want to watch, especially right around here in Virginia. I'll take the Falcons to beat the Panthers in a NFC South matchup that not too many people are going to watch. Sorry, Rizzuti. Uh, I'll take San Diego over Oakland. An interesting game will be Philadelphia and Green Bay in Lambeau. Philadelphia is the type of team that with Sanchez in there, it seems like they might even be responding to him a little bit better. Their defense is playing a little bit better than they're given credit for, and their special teams are outstanding. This is a team that can win ball games in many different ways, and especially if you can do some good things on special teams, it makes it a lot easier to win on the road. With that said, the Packers are still rolling. They came off of that bad loss in New Orleans, out of the bye, destroyed Chicago. They've got Aaron Rodgers, so therefore I'll take them at Lambeau. Give me Detroit over Arizona. I think Arizona is, you know, beyond question, one of the best teams in the NFC. I was wrong about them heading into this season. However, you know, this is a team, eventually those injuries are going to catch up. They have to at some point in time. It has to level itself out. And the Lions are playing a really good brand of ball. Games in previous years, they would have lost that they should have won. They're now winning games that maybe they should lose. And that's what good teams do. In the Sunday night match, this will probably be the game of the week, the one that everybody wants to talk about, Brady versus Luck. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll be one of those rare primetime games this year that will actually be really damn good. I would anticipate it would be. I'll take the Colts over the Patriots. And then in the Monday night matchup, even though there's not a whole lot of logic or reason to do so, I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans over the Pittsburgh Steelers. The game is in Tennessee, but furthermore, this is another bad team. And the Steelers historically, traditionally, play poorly over the past few years against bad teams. Reference their loss in Week 10 to the New York Jets. This is another one of those games where Steeler fans look at it at the end of the season, they're like, well, why the hell didn't we make the playoffs? Or why the hell didn't this team win the division? 
It's games like against the Jets, and it's games against the Titans that they're going to have this upcoming Monday night. So my upset of the week, I guess you'd have to say beyond question, would be to pick the Titans to beat the Steelers on Monday night. So you are welcome to go against me with your picks for the week. Let me know how you're doing season to date as well. Again, I went 10-3 and three in week number 10, 90-57 and 57 for the season. I'm going strong, going long. Yeah.